Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Wow, Alessandra Acasio Cortez is well positioned to expose banks to fraud and abuse. What do you know, man? Damn. Oh, check his. See, a fucking even a even a racist from Queens, a racist who lies about her background, says she's from the Bronx when she's from upstate New York. She's from wealth, right? Father was an architect, but even there, right? See. It's all about exposure, right? See, it's not a complicated issue, right? Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez is now the the congresswoman, the good congresswoman from Queens. And not only that, she's on the House Financial Services Committee right? with Maxine Waters, right? Now, uh, let's uh, just read. I'll read from the... Uh, this is good. This is good stuff. Now, it's uh, Ocasio-Cortez, right? The fucking bootlickers, all the... You know, the fucking the, the Trump, bout to Trump, bootlicker, jerk-offs. Shut it off, man. Go. Fuck you. Get out of here. Go. Bye. 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 Why don't you listen? Listen to what exposure is. Listen what the useful idiot is offering us, right? And exposing the fucking, the, the billionaire corruption, right? Is exposing it, right? She's talking about it. And that's sometimes that's all you have to do is just talk about it, so. Freshman Congresswoman Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez is now a member of the House Financial Services Services Committee, which oversees the nation's banks and financial institutions. Yes, it does. Right? It's a big, big position. I don't know how she got, I don't know if she has any voting power or what, but when she speaks, people are going to listen, right? Because, look, I'm, I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. I'm going to keep talking about it. Right? This is good stuff, man. Check this out. And California Congresswoman Maxine Waters is chairing that committee. So the big fucking, you know, black lady with the fucking stoop, always saying something stupid, is the chair of this banking committee, right? Now, she's probably paid off, Maxine Waters. I don't, I don't trust her one bit. I, don't also, I also don't trust that Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez will get anything done immediately because no one's going to listen to her, right? But... No one's going to listen to her in the committee to actually get anything done because it's all pay for play. But people will listen. People will pay attention to the corruption. What is that corruption? Ocasio-Cortez has already exposed taxing the very rich people at 70%. Bankers will be the ones stung by a proposal like that the most. Correct, right? So by merely saying it, and exposing it and making them squirm in their pants and attack, right? You saw what they did to uh, Tulsi Gabbard running for... They're already smearing her on TV because she's, she's, she's against the military-industrial complex out in, uh, you know, for, in Syria, for example, right? Anybody who's against the establishment gets smeared. And Ocasio-Cortez is wonderful because they've already smeared her to death. Now at least you, you, you have an opportunity to... To hear it out, right? And she can, you know, subpoena, you know, banksters and and question them. Wow, how about that? Even just, you know, it's a it is a useful idiot. But here's the usefulness, right? Use it. <clears throat> Democrats from California and the one from Queens who shocked the political establishment when she won the primary last year, uh, and then the election. Is that is that the pair that might take the opportunity to look into how bankers report their earnings, right? Now, I've always said, right, I'm, I'm one of the, f- the few people that tells you that the, the banking industry is the root of the problem, they, that, that the, the premise of their uh, business plan, the business model is fraud, right? It's always fraud, right? It's always defrauding the public, right? And earnings... As, as she points out, right, I don't know if she stumbled on it or someone told her to say it, but nonetheless, she's saying it, right, is the root of the problem because they inflate the numbers. It's called painting the tape on Wall Street. It's, there's insider trading where they trade back and forth and they cause the stock to go up. But there's also painting the tape in, the, in terms of faking the numbers because why? Because no one checks on them. There's no accountability, right? So, and... Once people point out the accounting tricks, Ocasio and Waters said, can really get some TV and airtime. I, she didn't say that. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. But this is the, 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 the writer from the Post saying. Let me read that again. And once people point out that the accounting tricks, Ocasio, Cortez, and Waters can really 
can really get some TV and airtime uh, and jump up and down. Right? Yeah, they could. They could. Right? So here's some of the here's some of the scams that Wall Street Wall Street has pulled. Goldman Sachs just had the worst trading revenue since the financial crisis, yet reported good earnings by getting its tax rate cut down to 16 percent because of the tax law changes. The rate is going to jump in 2019. So they played a, they played a trick, right? Do they actually pay 16% tax? If they do, it's 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 off shot into a uh, a tax haven. They don't they don't give up that money, ever, ever. Bank of America had solid earnings growth thanks to aggressive stock repurchases. Right now, you remember they said, "Oh, we're buying back our stock." They got the tax breaks and they bought back their stock, right? Everybody said, oh, shit, look, they're spending money. They're, they're spending the money. No, they're buying back their own stock. When a company repurchases stock, it helps its earnings per share look better. right? And, it, and it's a reason to drive the price of the stock up. Wells Fargo revenue declined, but the company offset the bad news by arbitrarily cutting its provisions for bad loans by 20%. Right? It's fraud. It's just, it's faking the numbers. Banks have more leeway to manipulate their earnings by temporarily changing their tax rates, raising and lowering their provisions for bad loans, and buying back more stock than other companies do. They'll give Waters and Ocasio plenty of ammunition to hold hearings, make speeches, and give press interviews. Right. As well, I do not think, this is Ocasio-Cortez saying this, I love this, I do not think that a system that allows billionaires to exist when there are parts of Alabama where people are still getting ringworm because they don't have access to public health is wrong. I agree. I think that's wrong too. I think that, you know, that, that why do we, we allow billionaires to exist? We allow it, right? Because again, the bootlickers say, oh, you, it's capital, it's capitalism, right? You, you got to let it go. Just let it run. Let it go. Let it go out of control. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Don't regulate it. Don't regulate it. Don't regulate it. Because someday I'm going to be a billionaire. And when I'm a billionaire, I don't want to be regulated. That's the thinking. The 1% controls you. And that's your thinking. Also, here's a, this is an interesting article that kind of ties into this, right? This is uh, a probe into Wall Street banks over rigging U.S. Treasury auction stalls. The, 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 the investigation stalled into U.S. rigging treasury auctions. Right? Why did it stall? Of course, we know why it stalled, because it's, a, it's an insider game. There is no investigations. Bankers don't get locked up. So uh, just, it just, just plays into the fact that, hey, Ocasio-Cortez and, and fucking Maxine Waters, you can look at this, too, and expose it, because I'm sure you don't even know what they're talking about, right? Look into it. Get fucking get Social Sanders. <laughs> he'll tell you what. He'll tell you all about it. Get uh, uh, what's her name, Elizabeth Warren. There's no but Elizabeth Warren is one of the few people on Wall Street that that in Congress that actually in the Senate that actually knows what she's saying. Right? She knows if you ask Elizabeth Warren what's a you know credit default swap or a uh, you know an advanced derivative, she'll tell you she knows what it is. Will she do anything to stop the the shenanigans? Uh, hell no. But you could always ask her. She's there, right? Is that what she's there for? A politically dicey investigation into Wall Street, Wall Street banks allegedly rigging U.S. Treasury auctions has stalled <laughs> due to a lack of evidence. And it is unclear if federal government will bring any charges against the companies. Is it unclear? No, it's guaranteed that they won't. Because that's they don't. They don't investigate these things. They investigate them out in the open and they say, oh, I say there's not enough evidence. The antitrust probe, which threatened to be an embarrassment for officials in both the Obama and Trump administration, was focused on whether Goldman Sachs traders colluded with others to fix prices in the $13 trillion treasury market. You don't have to guess. They do it. That's exa it's, it's a, they're they're the, the, na the principal market makers, and they manipulate the float, right? What, what's interesting is that the antitrust probe, this is for my friends that think that antitrust laws, just enforce the antitrust laws and everything will be fine, right? Well, you see how companies like Goldman Sachs swerve around these laws. The only way to do it, again, is tax them. Instead of saying lock her up, say tax them. Say it with me. 
tax them. Tax them. Tax them. That's the way you get them. The antitrust laws don't work. You have they're too sharp. They're too smart. They're the smartest guys in the room. They're gonna swerve around your laws every time. Right? Investigators are hitting dry walls in their evidence hunt through thousands of pages of Bloomberg chats, plus dozens of interviews to bring a clear case. There just wasn't enough there, law, enfor law enforcement said. <laughs> the probe which exposed potential weaknesses in the way the U.S. Treasury prices, prices the interest on the country's debt obligations has been an embarrassing, an embarrassing one for Washington since 2015. Jacob Liu, then head of the Treasury under Obama, wanted a quick resolution to the probe. Since then, Liu was replaced by Goldman alumnus, fucking another, uh, another Goldman Sachs guy, Steve Mnuchin, who is now Treasury Secretary under Trump. Now you know why Goldman Sachs doesn't get investigated. Because they put their own guys in there, right? You see how they, how they operate? Another ex-Goldman partner who joined the White House, Gary Cohn, that's three had overseen the division that submitted the bids to the Treasury at the time. So the guy setting the prices and rigging the prices for their, for, for their friends on Wall Street, Goldman Sachs, is the, is the guy that is assigned to do oversight. You see how the, the conflicts of interest are just, are just insane banksters, right? But no, no, go, but, but Trump's going Trump's gonna to drain the swamp, right? Trump is going to... He's going to drain the swamp. He's going to build the wall. He's going to throw all the swamp creatures on the other side of the wall. Right? That's going to solve all the problems. While charges are unlikely to be filed, it's not clear that banks won't suffer some negative consequence. They, they won't suffer any negative consequence. As recently as 2017, Department of Justice investigators were focused on a period from 2007 to 2011 when Goldman was particularly successful in bidding for Treasury bonds, sources told The Post. Since then, however, a string of departures at the department also slowed the investigation. Right? They, they, get, they get fired, they, they get reshuffled to other positions, and nothing gets done. The talks between Goldman and the feds have been inactive, another person familiar with the talks said. The investigation was one of many that looked into banks for potential conspiracies to rig markets in the wake of blockbuster interest rates and currency rigging probes that led to billions of dollars in fines and the resignation of top executives, including Barclays Chief Executive Robert Diamond, as well as, well as Goldman Sachs Lloyd Blankfein just resigned. But they're not saying that's why he resigned because of the, you know, the, the six billion dollar scam in Malaysia. Right. There's just so many scams. There's so much. It, that's all it is, a scam, 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 scam. Other banks, including Deutsche Bank, Royal Bank of Scotland, and uh, BNP Par Prabhavas, Morgan Stanley, and USB, UBS, <laughs> USB, UBS Bank, had traded and chat records subpoenaed by the Department of Justice. They're securing the evidence and they're making it go away. That's what they do. In addition, the Securities Exchange Commission and the New York Department of Finance Services were investigating the alleged riggings. They, they, they're not. Right? The SEC, the best they'll do is they'll slap maybe a, a couple hundred thousand dollar fine. They steal millions, sometimes billions. SEC turns around, slaps them with a hundred thousand dollar fine, and everything is fine. That's it. That's the end of it. Steal billions, pay a couple hundred grand to the SEC, Everything is quiet. That's how that's how it works. So, if Asa Alessandra Ocasio Cortez, right, the the, this is all we got, man. This is all we got, right? This is it. This is it. This is the only people, the 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 racist New Jack from from Queens, the young girl, is the only one who could expose the banksters, and the rest of you guys are just gonna sit around and wait for the plan. Psst. I'm out of that plan, man. Marcus Conti reporting.